All right, hey, hey, y'all, it's Andrea from Andrea Speaks TV, back to bring you more news and commentary you can use. Listen, as always, thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate all of you in your comments. You know, I hope that uh, through the information I share on this channel, the information that we share with each other, that you all are able to learn and take from it. And whether it's improve your life some way or some aspect of your life, make a plan to prepare for you and your family, okay? Listen, y'all, you know, on the channel, I've talked about uh, AI, which is artificial intelligence. And I talked about the dangers of AI. And now I actually want to bring up another topic uh, in the artificial intelligence world, if you would call it. And I want to talk about facial recognition and the dangers of the the uh, facial recognition technology. Listen, I want to use a story out of New York, okay? You all make sure that you... Um, Leave me a comment uh, in the, uh, at the, you know, in the, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. Were you aware uh, that this type of technology uh, was taking place? Now, when you think about it, um, facial uh, recognition technology is used even with cell phones. Um, you know, in certain cases, um, you know, depending on what type of phone you have, um, you may be able to create, what is it called, y'all, an avatar and, um, you know, like do the different filters based on your face. All of that is part of facial recognition. Y'all listen, even with some of these advanced um, cell phones um, and things like that, some of these cell phones, y'all, you can even unlock your phone with using your face. Ain't that scary, y'all? You can unlock your phone using your face. So I want to talk about the dangers. What I feel like are dangers, dangers of facial recognition technology. We know that right now we're living in a time where artificial intelligence is growing, okay? Being used by many uh, individuals, companies, businesses worldwide. And so the story that I'm going to share with you, I want you to know that not only is it happening there, but this is the way that they, okay, they who are behind this whole agenda, this is the way that they want things to be headed, okay? We're going to talk about why we should be concerned about this, y'all. Listen, facial recognition technology at the Madison Square Garden, okay, which is a huge arena, right, in New York City, and other venues, okay, are being scrutinized, okay? They're being criticized, y'all. They're coming under fire at a recent New York City Council hearing. Listen to what happened, y'all, okay? Facial recognition technology, at entertainment venues, at entertainment venues and other businesses were under review just this past Friday at a New York City Council hearing. Okay, follow me, y'all. Listen now. In 2021, listen, this happened, what, two years ago, right? In 2021, in response to the growing number of companies utilizing the technology. Now, didn't I just say that, y'all? This, this is a field, artificial intelligence um, facial recognition technology, this is a growing thing, right? In 2021, in response to the growing number of companies utilizing the technology, New York City passed laws requiring that businesses that use facial recognition to inform customers. Hold on, wait, let me make sure I read that right. Y'all know sometimes you can miss a word. Hold on. In 2021, in response to the growing number of companies utilizing the technology, New York City passed laws requiring businesses that use facial recognition. Uh, in other words, they have to inform customers that it's in use. Okay, so in other words, in New York City, back in 2021, they passed a law saying that, okay, if you're a business and you use um, facial recognition technology, you, you know, you must inform your customers. OK, in some form or fashion, you have to inform your customers that you are, in fact, using facial recognition technology. OK, listen to this, y'all. City leaders. First of all, somebody, you know what? Somebody may be wondering, Andrew, what is I haven't seen that. You may have a flip phone. I don't know. I'm not being funny. <clears throat> not everyone has a touch screen phone. Right. I at one time myself had a flip phone and I don't know. I may still go back to one because this technology is really something else, y'all. Let me give you some background information first, okay? I, I don't want to just assume um, that everyone knows about facial recognition technology. 
it could be someone's first time ever even hearing those words. So let me just give you a um, definition. Give me just one second. Facial recognition technology. Okay. Hold on just a minute, y'all. Okay, so they use uh, a technology called biometrics. Okay, you can, you know, do your, I want you to do your research on this, right? Um, facial recognition technology uses a technology called biometrics. Okay, um, the most common one, I should say, the most common technology used by facial recognition technology uses biometrics, which measures and analyzes human physical and behavioral characteristics. Okay. So that's what that is about, y'all. You can do your own research as well, okay? I won't keep you out much longer because I got to get out of here, but listen. Okay, so businesses had uh, New York City, they passed a law. Companies who use facial recognition technology must make their customers aware, okay? City leaders may be trying. Listen, listen to this, y'all. Now, this is where it gets very concerning, right? City leaders, city leaders may be trying to take things further, after Madison Square Garden came under fire for its use of facial recognition. Okay, now you can do your research on Madison Square Garden. Very popular um, arena, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's where the uh, New York Knicks play basketball, as well as, you know, they have concerts, um, sporting events, entertainment events, different things like that, performances. Okay, you can do your research, right? Here's a quote. Uh, by someone, uh, let's see, Council Member Marjorie Velasquez, who chairs the Committee on Consumer and Worker Protection, had this to say, and I quote, as more entities gain access to facial recognition technology, it increases the potential for improper use. Okay. Again, talking about the dangers of facial recognition technology. Listen to this, y'all. At the hearing, Velasquez called on experts in the field to discuss the risk of facial recognition technology, okay? Here's a quote by Velasquez who said facial, and I quote, facial recognition relies on large scores of variable personal data, personal data now, making the systems a potential target of security breaches, okay? And information leaks. Now, Madison Square Garden or MSG as it's also commonly referred to as, you know, as abbreviated as MSG and Radio City uh, Music Hall. Okay, MSG, Madison Square Garden, and Radio City Music Hall have taken heat. Listen to this, y'all. This is what I wanted to share with you, okay? MSG, Madison Square Garden, and Radio City Music Hall have taken heat for the for using facial recognition. Listen, listen to what's going on, y'all. James Dolan, chairman of the venues, admitted to using the technology to ban lawyers working for firms suing his company. Did y'all just hear what I said? Okay, I'm not, again, I'm not making this up. I encourage you to do your own research, okay? Again, listen to this, y'all. Madison Square Garden and Radio City Music Hall, okay, which is another event, uh, another venue, you can look it up, have taken heat for using facial recognition James Dolan, who is the chairman of the venues, okay, admitted to using the technology. He admitted, he said yes, okay. He admitted to using the technology to ban lawyers working for firms suing his company. Now, we're going to go a little further, y'all. Listen to this. Some city leaders believe that crossed the line, okay. Here's a quote by Velasquez, who said, and I quote, we must do what we can as a city to protect New Yorkers' privacy and information and to ensure that these products are not used in ways that harm customers. And I'm sorry, that warrant, that harm consumers and workers. Let me read it again, y'all. I'm sorry about the uh, mistake in my words, okay? Velasquez was quoted as saying, and I quote, we must do what we can as a city to protect, to protect New Yorkers' privacy and information and to ensure that these products are not used in ways that harm consumers and workers, okay? Public advocate uh, Jermaine Williams doubled down on that. Okay, you can also um, do your research. There are stories as well as video um, out there 
Um, he had this to say, and I quote, there's a point where private and public really come in connection and we can't allow it to just run amok and government has to step in. Okay. Attorney Samuel Davis had this to say, who was a founding partner um, at the law firm whose employee. Okay. Listen to this, y'all. And then I read the quote. So listen, attorney Samuel Davis, a founding partner at the law firm whose employee Kelly Conlon was escorted out of, listen to this y'all, she was escorted out of Radio City late last year for simply being associated with the firm during litigation with MSG, said his fight, said he's fighting for transparency. Okay, here's a quote by Attorney Davis, who had this to say, and I quote, if you're going to allow facial recognition, this is what he said, if you're going to allow facial recognition, let people know about it. Give people a fair shot, okay? New York City uh, or New York Attorney General Letitia James, who recently said racial, I'm sorry, not racial, facial. Sorry about that, y'all. New York Attorney General Letitia James, who recently said facial recognition technology may violate anti-bias laws, claim Dolan's properties, use it to limit almost 100 law firms from entering, Okay. Um, State Senator Brad Hallman Siegel told CBS uh, 2 that he introduced a bill that would tweak civil rights laws to prevent venues from banning people who have a valid ticket. Okay, think about this, y'all. So uh, from what I get, you know, the, um, this information is uh, basically explaining is the fact that <clears throat> because uh, these individuals were associated with other companies or other lawyers who were involved in lawsuits against um, Madison Square Garden or MSG or Radio City Music Hall, they were not allowed, even though they had a valid ticket, they were not allowed to enter the venue because somehow, the you know, they were, um, or their data, you know, as they, maybe they walked in, I don't know what the technology looked like, uh, I don't know what the facial recognition technology looks like, but because they were somehow, their face was captured using the facial recognition technology, and I guess in turn, it linked them, their data, you know, linked and everything. They were banned from going in. Now, this really sounds like it's going too far, y'all. I don't know all the details I'm reading, you know, and I'm sharing with you all. But where I have a concern is, you know, what if this is used in grocery stores? What about banks? Now, in this particular case, and, that, you know, those are just two examples. But in this particular case, you know, this person is trying to go into a uh, venue to see a uh, live event, some some type of event, right? Um, and they were banned simply because they were associated with another law firm that was uh, in a lawsuit against MSG or Radio City Music Hall. So what I want you and I to think about is, you know, what if you disagree? What if you just simply disagree with an idea or um, some type of ideology? Uh, ideologi I can't even say it, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What if you agree with some type of ideology or whatever? Okay, that's what I was trying to say. What if you refuse to get the... Okay, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? And all these companies start using facial recognition technology. What if you refuse to get an electric car? I don't know. Electric vehicle. And they say, you know, you're trying to go in the grocery store, buy groceries. And somehow through facial recognition technology, they say, oh, wait a minute. You refuse to get this or you believe in that or, you know, or whatever. And as a result, you can't shop for groceries. You can't purchase groceries. You can't use the ATM. Um, you can't check out at the self-checkout. Y'all do know they use facial, recogni uh, facial recognition technology at the self-checkout, right? Yep, you're on camera there. So that's what I want you to think about. OK, and this is just one example, you know, preventing people. Excuse me. This is just one example out of New York where people were prevented from going into the venues. But think about how far, you know, how far of a reach this can have in many different areas of our lives. Think about, you know, essential services, going to the doctor, um, places of worship. You know, it's so many. It's, it's almost like an unlimited amount of, um, you know, uh, things that you could think about that this could have, this uh, facial recognition and the banning uh, could apply to, right? 
All right, y'all. So again, here's some more information. This was a quote by an MSG Entertainment spokesperson who told CBS2, and I quote, the facial recognition technology system does not retain images of individuals. This is what they're saying, y'all. With the exception of those who were previously advised, they are prohibited from entering our venues or whose previous misconduct in our venues has identified them as a security risk. We utilize facial recognition technology in compliance with all applicable laws. Okay. Uh, Dolan, appearing on WFAN a few weeks ago, said his company does not use facial recognition technology against fans at the Garden unless they become, and I quote, confrontational with other fans, confrontational with the staff, confrontational with the, excuse me, this is a part of the quote, with the ownership. Okay. Most council members and members of the public at the hearing agreed the technology could be dangerous in the wrong hands. Okay, we've talked about that here on the channel, right? This video is called The Dangers of Facial Recognition Technology. Defenders of facial recognition technology, like Jake Parker of the nonprofit Securities, Security Industries Association, said it's about rules and regulations as opposed to the technology itself. Um, here's a quote. He said, if the technology is used in a way where you're flagging certain individuals for some kind of further action, particularly if there could be negative consequences, then that needs to be subject to robust policies and procedures. OK, now listen to this, y'all. This was also a shocker. OK, as I was reading, um, the information says there were no signs of any MSG officials, including Dolan at Friday's hearing. Remember, remember I talked about the New York City Council meeting. They knew it was happening and appeared to make a conscious decision to not show up or face questioning. Isn't that something, y'all? Now, they're making this, the decisions. They're utilizing this facial recognition technology. But when it's time to, you know, come face to face and get asked the tough questions, the hard questions, and demand clear answers, they're nowhere to be found. Okay? Sounds a lot like something else, but we'll talk about that later, right? I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Listen, y'all. Um, Velasquez also had this to say, I had, a, and I quote, I had a conversation with the representative last weekend and they assured me that someone would be showing up today. It's a disgrace and I'm disappointed. Okay. Lastly, um, a spokesperson said, and I quote, today's city council oversight hearing was intended to generally address the use of facial recognition technology by businesses in New York city. MSG entertainment's views on the use of facial recognition technology were represented at the hearing in both written and oral testimony by organizations such as the Security Industry Association, Tech, NYC, and Bio, B-I-O, uh, Key, International. And that sh uh, that share our belief that it's useful, that it that it's a useful and widely used tool that enables businesses to provide a safe and secure environment. Okay, that was according to a spokesperson. Now, again, I asked the question, just how safe and secure is it? If these uh, businesses are allowed to use this type of technology to um, what some would say unfairly, unjustly ban people from entering areas that they feel like these people should not be in for whatever reason. You all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you, as always, for supporting the channel. I'm telling you all this is just one situation. There may be many others out there, and this is a way that they want things to go. All right, y'all, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for tuning in to Andrea Speaks TV.